Have you heard much about nitrogen? Just to start off, we have to say that nitrogen is everywhere. One of the most important things in life is nitrogen. 78% of Earth's atmosphere is made of nitrogen. Nitrogen is not a bad thing and they even put it in a few types of drinks. Like nitrogen gas put in coffee. They put the nitrogen in some drinks to give a little sweet taste to it. It's good to know that it's not sweet, but when it's entered into a drink, it gives a little sweet taste to it. That is why they usually put nitrogen in bitter drinks, like coffee, some types of tea, and even beer. Most of the nitrogen in our world is in the shape of gas, and you can't see it, but you can turn this nitrogen into liquid. To turn nitrogen gas into liquid, you have to make it very cold. Because when we turn air into liquid, 78% of it is nitrogen. To do this, you need a machine called the cryocooler. Inside this cryocooler, there is two pistons and with the help of helium gas, one of the pistons get rid of the heat of the air and the other piston turns the air extremely cold in a way that the cold part reaches negative 200 degrees Celsius. And this temperature and pressure creates liquid nitrogen. You could literally use this tool to take the air inside your room and turn that air into liquid. Don't think it takes the air from this side and turns it into liquid instantly. It takes a lot of time to actually take the air and turn it into liquid. But this is a smaller cryocooler as well. Either way, the liquid we receive is not 100% nitrogen because in our air there's oxygen, nitrogen, and other types of gas. So we really can't call this liquid nitrogen. We could call it liquid air. It literally took four hours to take five liters of air and get 50 milliliter of liquid air. To check if inside this liquid there's oxygen, they insert something in the liquid and put it close next to a flame. If the fire wants to start back up, it shows that there's oxygen in this liquid. And that shows us that this is not pure liquid nitrogen. But we want pure liquid nitrogen. How do we get that? First of all, we need an air compressor because we need high pressure air. Then in the middle of the line that goes to the cryo cooler, we need a water filter. If you didn't know, in our air compressors, water fills up and that's because of the humidity in the air. Like people that paint cars are really picky about this and they don't allow water to enter their air lines and they for sure have to have this filter because if they don't do that the water enters the line and it mixes with the paint and messes everything up either way it needs a water filter in the way so now we have high pressure air we have a water filter to catch all the water so what happened to the nitrogen to get pure nitrogen after this filter the next important tool we need is this the nitrogen membrane. This tool is extremely important to get that pure nitrogen we're actually looking for. We could just not name it anything fancy. You could just call it a filter because that's what it really is. You basically give it some air from the receiving end and the way the filter is designed to put pressure to the walls of the filter and this pressure causes every gas except nitrogen to hug the walls of this filter. Gas like oxygen, carbon dioxide, and even water vapor. And when they hug the walls, there are special holes designed so these things exit the filter. But the nitrogen is still in the middle and it's moving forward. This filter allows the high pressure that enters it turn into nitrogen and then leave. To actually do this, the flow of the air has to be slow but it needs to be high pressure. If the flow is not good enough, it will not do the job correctly. If the flow is too strong, it doesn't have enough time to actually turn into nitrogen. Just like we said, if the system is not done right, 
it's not going to give you pure nitrogen and we can't get liquid nitrogen. So we got pure nitrogen. How do we turn it into liquid? We get back to the cryo cooler, but instead of turning air into liquid, we turn pure nitrogen into liquid. Depending on the size of your machine, we could get liquid nitrogen from this. If you have some ice cream making ingredients, you could make ice cream very fast. You basically pour the liquid nitrogen in the ice cream material and then mix it. And after a few seconds, you basically have some ice cream. That's how cold liquid nitrogen is. It's good to know that liquid nitrogen is minus 196 degrees centigrade. So what else is this liquid used for? Can you only make ice cream with it? No, this has a lot of usage. One of the coolest things they use liquid nitrogen is, is the cooling system of some powerful PCs. In these PCs, there is a channel that's filled with liquid nitrogen. And obviously, it keeps that area cool and doesn't let the CPU overheat. The most places liquid nitrogen is used is by doctors. The liquid nitrogen is inside a capsule and that's to get rid of extra skin, different words, and it even gets rid of skin cells that are supposed to be cancer cells. A lot of doctors have this too with them. And if you tell the doctor, I have like an extra skin on the back of my neck, they could use this to spray the spot and after a while it falls off your skin. The temperature of the liquid nitrogen gets rid of that skin and it doesn't really hurt. When they apply it, you get the burning sensation. So you see this liquid nitrogen, what would happen if it accidentally pours on our hand or body? If you pour a lot of liquid nitrogen somewhere, you could get frostbite and it could get extremely dangerous. And if a lot of it pours on your hand, it causes a deep frostbite and you have to amputate your hand. And that is why handling liquid nitrogen is not a joke. The tankers that handle liquid nitrogen are extremely safe and it doesn't puncture very easily. And if you want to see what liquid nitrogen does, you've probably seen this movie. A liquid nitrogen tanker explodes and it causes Arnold's enemy to freeze and basically get destroyed. This is Terminator 2, which you probably have seen before. Liquid nitrogen has a lot of different uses as well, and I'm not going to cover every single one. But if you want to buy it, you can. You just have to prove that you need it for research or it's for your job or workplace. So they don't sell it just to anybody. Do you know why they don't sell it? Because if someone doesn't know how to handle liquid nitrogen, they could hurt themselves or even kill themselves. But it's not very expensive. It's about $1.78 per liter. But you have to prove what you're using it for.